Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. In Tier 9, the British Tech Tree has two tank destroyers, this and the Tortoise. Both very strong tank destroyers, but very different play styles. Now when this first came out, I thought it was absolutely great. Is it still good today? Well, let's find out. I'm going to give you a review of it and then jump into three games. But before I do so, I would like to ask, if you're not subscribed already, please hit subscribe. We'd love to have you, or at least consider it. Hit like, that would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you want to share this video or donate to the channel, you can do so by checking the link below. Anyway, um, this tank. Overall, I'm going to say very good. Yeah, it's not as good as it once was, but it's still a very solid tank. Why? Well, gun. Great. Yeah, you got Hesh on this. The gun is great. Pen, it's a fabulous gun. Armor. Yeah, not the best. You'll get a few bounces every now and then. I'm going to go okay. Lastly, maneuverability. Well, it does have that speed boost, but oh, it does feel a little bit sluggish, so I'm just going to go with good. And with that, let's jump right into the first game, which is a pretty easy game. Nothing fancy, but I think it'll give you an idea of how to play it. Okay, look at the lineups. They have a 53 TP and Action X, both strong tier eight heavy tanks. They also have a Conway. Hmm, and they have that new tank, the TS-60, I think it's called, whatever it is. We have an Object 752, great, that's my buddy. We also have a 53 TP as well. So, since our RU is going this way, he should be able to spot up any tanks on this side, so I'm gonna cover him. Just gonna hide in a bush to start off with until I know more information, aka where the enemy team decides to set up. My buddy's going towards the base. He should be fine. He's in a very strong tank. Our well, RU's gone pretty far, and nothing's been let up, which means it's time to make our move. I'm just telling everybody that they're over there. They must be over there. Look at that. I mean, he's almost... Yeah, pretty much at their base, and he hasn't been lit up. So that means they are all bunched up in this one little zone over here. So I'm going to take this bush right here and see what I can see. Anybody? Anybody? The answer is yes. The Conway. Now, he's using the other gun. To be honest, the Conway has one great thing about it, and that is even stock, it can be competitive because the normal gun is faster reloading. It just doesn't hit as hard. And this gun, which I personally prefer, but a lot of people think the other, tank, the other gun is just as good. So, you know, find out which one you like. But it's rare that a tank can be so competitive right out of the gate. Okay, bye bye, Action X. Okay, almost. Yeah, he's gone. That's nice. Are you doing a great job? He deserves, you know, full marks for supporting us back there and lighting up the enemy team. Took a hit there for my trouble. As you can see, this guy is very rare. I'm just going to use HE. Yeah, a little damage doesn't hurt. One thing about using HE on a lot of tanks, even if you don't do that much damage, you might damage their modules, including their gun or their turret, which can be very helpful later on. Hey, Turn sideways onto the Conway, and you're pretty much dog meat, because whether I use AP or uh, Pramo, Hash, whichever, I mean, you're, you're going to be in a world of hurt. And one tank left. Here we go. He's not even looking at me. Nice. So, you know, I took one hit this battle. Nice and easy. Um, the Conway is a tank that I think should be played a little bit further back. Not right at the back. It can be played right at the back, but I would say um, second line is where you're probably going to do the most damage. It depends on the map, though, of course. Anyway. Top damage, not bad. 53 TP, great job. Are you? Great job. It's nice to have good teammates, you know? Okay, now they don't have, well, they have a horrible uh, lineup in the sense that they don't have any light tanks or medium tanks except the bat chance. So the STB should be fine taking him out. I figure, you know what? Stranger things have happened. I I'm going to help him out. And I don't want him sitting back because the STB should spot for us. But, um, you know, some players, they just they play very passive. And I don't like that. I don't really want to win a game by being passive, just sitting on the, the back of the map. Usually, I want to push 
things and make things happen rather than waiting for things to happen. And of course, you know, a win is a win, but I just prefer to um, work hard. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, well, he's going to pop up somewhere. He's going to be in that bush. Oh, there he is. Amen. Come on. Oh, nice. So uh, he's in trouble. And he's gone. So that's really nice. I'm going to get the base here. Uh, I think the STB could have done that. He could have spotted. I am not a uh, medium or a light tank. I'm going to punish this guy. Ooh, that was nice. 700. But why the STB decide to go around beyond me? Absolutely beyond me. I mean, what a silly move is that? Why not just move straight in? And now he's turned his tank uh, to the Fosh. I mean, the, the, the Fosh had the rear of his tank. Luckily, the Fosh was on a reload, but had another tank been there, it would have been absolutely disastrous. And now it seems like the Fosh is all alone. So yeah, poor him. Yeah, it's not gonna end well. I just uh, didn't wanna get hit from across the map. I'd had some pretty bad games, so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna be careful this round. But yeah, STB, good job. Although I think you could have played it a little bit better. Yeah, 700, that is a nice shot. <laughs> Poor Fosh. I mean, really, really not much he could do. Uh, the bat chat really should have backed on up. That was all he should have done. Instead he stayed there and that was a mistake. Just gonna push on in here. A three versus five. And to be honest, their platoon was a very good platoon. I was like, oh no, we're in a heck of a lot of trouble. But when I saw the lineups, I thought, you know what? Yeah, they are in a lot of trouble. Because if we can take out that batch out, they lose their spotter. Uh, we can just surround them. As long as our team doesn't fall apart, which they didn't. That's great news. Bye-bye, yo. Here gone. These two guys, they know how to play. But uh, it wasn't their day, I guess. I don't know why the Super Conquerors decided to go down there. But I guess because we controlled the other side, he didn't want to get hit from the side. Nice job there. Tracked him. 3,342 damage, nice and easy. Took a few hits for my trouble, but yeah, that, that was kind of a walk in the park. Again, I really wanted STB to go first, and then I would have backed him up, but kind of pushed the issue, and uh, it worked out, so no big deal. This is not a tank meant for spotting. It's not a tank meant to take hits. This tank has one purpose only, to unleash firepower. So use it that way. And you'll be fine. Now, I've saved for the best for last. This is a really good game. It is a really tense game. It comes down to the wire. I think you're going to like this one. I did not think we had a chance, even a chance. We were getting absolutely ripped apart. So you're going to see what happens. Okay. Um, I don't even remember the lineups, but uh, hey, let's go for it. I'm a little bit late to get into the party, but I should be okay. Come on, wake up. Wake up, put that drink down, Snugs. Come on now. Okay, the object's going that way. Okay. Uh, our meds have gone that way. They've lit up two tanks. Okay, there, I'm finally here. As you can see, the traverse is the tank's weakness, so you don't want to be out in the open fighting two meds. You'll be absolutely destroyed. Don't have the armor, don't have the traverse. It is rough going. I'm gonna support our meds, I think, this bush here is magical for this sort of tank. Let's see what happens. Okay. If I remember correctly, they don't have the best uh, medium tank. So I think this is the best place for me. As long as our team just doesn't fall apart. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Things are not looking bad. I'm taking a blind shot there. I guess I shouldn't have. <laughs> That would have been nice, but look what we have back here. Object 704, come on, stick your nose out a little bit. Come on, come on. This is a great little position. A lot of people don't really know about it. You can really hit the heavy tanks going this way or setting up this. Look at that shot. I mean, come on, come on, that's a nice shot. But I took a hit for my trouble because our team let these guys get too close. Not good, because now I have to be careful. Um, I mean, TDs are always lurking in every map. But on this one, uh, yeah, got to be careful of the other side of this. Okay, oh, brother. So our Progetto is really playing passive versus their Progetto. And they've really managed to rip apart, I think, our T-54 light is that? Can't really see. Okay, 
Maybe it's time to get some new glasses. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. What to do? Come on, give me a shot there. That's nice. Come on, amen, amen. This is not a tank you really want to do snapshots with, usually, unless you're really close. You want to make sure you zoom in. Okay, it is It does have a relatively long reload, so you don't want to miss your shots. Okay, that, proje that Progetto is doing really well, the enemy team. Really hiding himself from three tanks. He came out there, I just couldn't... Oh, that was painful. But we've only... Okay, so we're down... No, nope, we're even. Uh, that's good news, but yeah, he's gonna be punished for that. Move. I'll take a hit. That's okay. I just want to keep our Progetto alive because without him, I don't have a spotter. That's the problem. Oh, come on, Progetto. Oh my goodness. Is he gonna survive? I don't know. Oh boy. Oh, my, I, oh I don't have a shot. Oh, oh no. Progetto versus Progetto. Oh, whew. So finally, their Progetto succumbs to death. But we've got the Chisa here. I've got to keep our Progetto alive. Come on. I've got health. I've got to risk it. I can't let this Chisei push on our Progetto. Nice shot by the Progetto again. And now I've got a side shot. Beautiful. Okay, so four versus three. Things are looking good for now. <laughs> Doesn't stay that way. Now the Progetto's a one shot. And one of our other tanks is not looking too healthy over there. Their tank is also, or one of their tanks is not looking great. Okay, so there, there's two. Okay. And now we've in a lot of trouble because they have a very healthy tank over there. In fact, two very healthy tanks. One full health, which is an RHM and can easily lose his health quickly. But the Action X is not using gun depression. Oh, he's bounced some serious shots there. So lucky you, Action X. But get the frick back. Get down. Oh, that's uh, a little bit better. Um, like... This guy's like Conway going like, frick no, 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 no. I, I, I mean, we need to soften them up before I push on in. I don't want to take any unnecessary hits. A Progetto is a one shot. The Axe and X is not going to last long against these big guns. And neither am I. I mean, Object 704 and an RHM, I mean, you can kiss my health goodbye. I don't have any armor. So no, 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 IS-6. And I'm like, no, no, stay, stay. Oh, there's a 704. Oh, brother. So, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We, we pray <laughs> in this situation. Uh, come on, RHM. Yes, okay, changing. Boom! Oh, that was nice. But there goes our action X. So now, okay, nice shot, Progetto. Oh, much respect. Their heavy tank is coming. Oh, again. Oh, that's painful. Couldn't quite thread the needle. And so now I'm down to, I guess two shots from their heavy and one shot from their td uh, i know a td somewhere around here i'm gonna take a blind shot backing on up uh, he must be somewhere around there uh, progetto's a one shot if they can get rid of the progetto i don't think i'll be able to survive uh, unless i get my speed boost back i can't come out this way the td will get me there he is Okay, I've got to be careful. Can I hit him? Ooh, nice job. Just only giving me a tracks. So, oh, sneaky devil you. Smart move. So I know he kind of knows how to play, and he knows I kind of know how to play, because I would have shot him. He's like, here, shoot my tracks. I'm like, no, no, I don't think so. Could have used HE, but uh, I don't want to do 200 damage. My reload is long. i got to get a 600 shot in here. Okay. Oh, we both hit each other. Oh, I'm, st oh, I'm still alive. But now the object... 704 is a one shot for myself or the Progetto, so that's good news. Progetto, please use Prevo. Please use Prevo. I'm going to use HE against the object this time, but where the frick is that heavy tank? I mean, look at this trumpet. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Changing, 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 changing. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh. oh, yes. Nicely done. So, I mean, I've just been hidden this little tiny spot to stay alive. Now, I'm just waiting for the right time. Oh, Progetto. Mwah, mwah. Thank you, Progetto. Oh, so, as you can see, that's why you keep guns alive. Because you never know how much they'll be able to help you later on. 3,615. I think that was my best game in, among these three. Um, only third class. Yeah, this tank's, uh, what do you call it? Mastery level is quite high. Progetto, great job. Much respect to you. Luva, come on, man. Hit something for goodness sake action x 
Uh, wrong position, in my opinion. You don't want to be on flat ground. Get over in the hills, and you'll do much more damage. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Do you like the Conway? Let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer the Tortoise, or do you hate them both? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time. Snugs on Blitz, out.